This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! John Lynch once again made it crystal clear on Monday that when it comes to Brandon Ayuk, the San Francisco 49ers are steadfast, resolute, and unwavering in their commitment to keeping him on their roster. Reinforcing their position, Lynch emphasized that Ayuk remains a crucial component of the team's future plans, effectively quashing any lingering speculation or rumors about his potential departure. Adding credibility to Lynch's assertions, a former NFL player with intimate knowledge of the inner workings of the Niners organization stepped forward to echo Ayuk's own sentiments. According to this individual, who shares a close relationship with the all-pro wide receiver, Ayuk is unwavering in his determination to continue playing a pivotal role within the San Francisco franchise. The San Francisco 49ers, despite their recent heartbreaking loss to the Kansas City Chiefs, are tipped as favorites to lift the Vince Lombardi Trophy this coming season. Anchored by a formidable defense featuring Nick Boza and an offense boasting talents like Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, and Brandon Ayuk, expectations are sky high. In the days leading up to the commencement of the 2024 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers found themselves entangled in speculation regarding the potential trade of either Debo Samuel or Brandon Ayuk, sparking a whirlwind of discussions and conjecture within the football community. Rumors swirled, suggesting that Debo Samuel, the dynamic wide receiver, might be the likelier candidate for departure from the 49ers roster. Despite the franchise's decision to bolster their receiving core by selecting Ricky Pearsall in the initial round of the draft, no concrete developments materialized on the trading front. As the dust settled, it became increasingly apparent that the defending NFC champions were poised to enter the forthcoming 2024 NFL season with an enviable surplus of talent in the wide receiver department. However, looming uncertainties cast a shadow over the team's long-term strategy. The intricacies of salary cap management cannot be overlooked in the context of the 49ers' future plans. With the impending necessity to negotiate a record-breaking contract extension for quarterback Brock Purdy, the organization finds itself navigating treacherous financial waters. Already stretched thin against the salary cap, accommodating the hefty financial commitments of marquee players places Debo Samuel's tenure with the team under scrutiny. In a candid conversation with Mike Sando of The Athletic, an anonymous NFL executive hinted at the possibility of the 49ers being compelled to consider trading or even releasing Samuel following the culmination of the 2024 season, an outcome that, at first glance, appears incredulous given Samuel's proven track record as a former All-Pro receiver. Yet, Delving deeper into the intricacies of Samuel's contract reveals the financial conundrum confronting potential suitors. His current three-year, $71.56 million deal stipulates a substantial base salary of $16.60 .60 million for the upcoming 2025 season, a figure that escalates to $20.97 million in the present year. Such hefty financial obligations may deter prospective trade partners, particularly in a league characterized by stringent salary cap constraints. Moreover, Samuel's purported reluctance to renegotiate his contract further complicates trade negotiations, presenting a formidable barrier to any potential deal. Compounding the dilemma is the broader context of San Francisco's financial commitments. With luminaries such as Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, Trent Williams, Nick Boza, Fred Warner, and Charvarius Ward commanding top-tier salaries at their respective positions. The 49ers front office faces an onerous task in juggling the team's financial resources effectively. The question looms large. Can the 49ers feasibly allocate a staggering $24.20 million against the salary cap for Samuel in 2025? It's a query fraught with uncertainty, further exacerbated by the precarious nature of the team's financial predicament. 
While the notion of outright releasing Samuel following the upcoming season may appear far-fetched, it remains a subject of conjecture among astute executives across the league. As the offseason unfolds and the intricacies of salary cap management come into sharper focus, the fate of Debo Samuel and his tenure with the San Francisco 49ers hangs in the balance, poised on the precipice of uncertainty and speculation. In a league where every decision is scrutinized, the 49ers' handling of Brandon Ayuk's aspirations and anxieties might just be as critical off the field as their performances on it. Whether this saga ends with a contract extension or a high-profile trade, the resolution will undoubtedly be a defining moment for the franchise as they chase another shot at glory. The San Francisco 49ers' decision to draft Ricky Pearsall has sparked widespread speculation and a surprising reaction from their own wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk, who has recently been at the center of trade rumors. The drama unfolded after the 49ers picked Pearsall, a promising wideout from Florida, with their 31st overall pick in the NFL draft. Despite the swirling rumors, Brandon Ayuk's response to the selection of his former college teammate was unexpectedly supportive. Shortly after the draft announcement, Ayuk sent a succinct forward text to both San Francisco 49ers general manager John Lynch and head coach Kyle Shanahan, stating, Fire pick, can't lie. This endorsement came as a surprise, considering the ongoing speculation about Ayuk's future with the team, the San Francisco 49ers management, represented by Lynch and Shanahan, has been quick to downplay the possibility of trading their star receivers. Despite admitting that the future isn't entirely predictable, Shanahan emphasized that trading Ayuk or Debo Samuel, another prominent receiver for the San Francisco 49ers, seems unlikely at this juncture. Both players have proven their worth, with Samuel securing an extension just last year and Ayuk entering crucial contract talks. Adding an interesting layer to the narrative, Brandon Ayuk and Ricky Pearsall are not strangers. They were teammates at Arizona State in 2019. Their existing rapport, highlighted by a phone conversation between the two on draft night, suggests a positive dynamic that could benefit the San Francisco 49ers' offensive strategy moving forward. John Lynch has expressed optimism about the ongoing discussions with Brandon Ayuk, signaling the team's intent to secure his presence in the future. Meanwhile, with Samuel's significant cap hit in 2024 and his performance on the field, it seems the 49ers are poised to maintain their current wide receiver lineup, barring an extraordinary trade offer. The decisions made now could significantly impact their strategy and success in the upcoming NFL season. With a talented roster and strategic draft choices, the team appears committed to building a cohesive and dynamic team, ready to challenge competitors and silence the rumor mill with solid performances on the field. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.